Have you ever wondered about the life of a velociraptor? These small dromaeosaurid dinosaurs, mostly found in Asia, lived about 75 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Despite being smaller than their dromaeosaurid counterparts, velociraptors were not to be underestimated. With a body size ranging from 1.5 to just over 2 meters long and weighing between 14 and 20 kilograms, they were swift and agile predators. They earned the nickname Swift Thief due to their incredible speed of up to 40 kilometers per hour, their bipedal structure, and their sharp, menacing claws on their hind feet. The Velociraptor was also a scavenger, making the most of opportunities presented to them. Now that we've set the stage, let's travel back in time to when these fascinating creatures first came into existence. Our journey begins in the year 1923. The world as we knew it was about to change forever, and it all started with a man named Peter Kaizen. In the arid landscapes of Mongolia, he unearthed what would later be identified as the first known fossil of a velociraptor. This discovery was not merely a stroke of luck, it was the result of tireless efforts and a keen eye for detail. Kaizen's find was a revelation, a window into a time long past, a glimpse into the world of the late Cretaceous period. This was a time when these swift thieves, as they're often called, roamed the earth, their slender bodies gliding swiftly through the dense vegetation. But the story doesn't end there. In 1924, President Henry Osborne of the American Museum of Natural History made an important designation. He recognized the skull and claw discovered by Kaizen as belonging to a new genus and species, the Velociraptor mongoliensis. This was a monumental moment in the world of paleontology. For the first time, we had a clear picture of what these creatures looked like, how they lived, and even how they hunted. The Velociraptor mongoliensis was a carnivore, a fast runner, and a creature of remarkable agility and strength. Yet, the Velociraptor mongoliensis was not alone. Later discoveries revealed a second species of Velociraptor, the Velociraptor osmolskai, named in honor of the Polish paleontologist Halska Osmolska. This species further broadened our understanding of the Velociraptor genus. These two species, each unique yet undeniably linked, represent a fascinating chapter in our planet's history. They serve as a testament to the diversity and complexity of life on Earth millions of years ago. The discovery of these fossils was just the beginning. It opened up a whole new world of possibilities for scientists. And as we continue to dig deeper into the past, who knows what other secrets these ancient creatures hold. As we peel back the layers of time, we can only marvel at the creatures that once called our planet home. The Velociraptor was not just a creature of the past, but also a creature of the East. This small swift thief found its home primarily in Asia, more than 75 million years ago. In the late Cretaceous period these feathered carnivores roamed the land, their sharp claws leaving imprints in the earth, signs of their existence for us to discover eons later. In the twilight years of the 1980s, a joint Chinese-Canadian expedition unearthed a treasure trove of Velociraptor remains. This was an archaeological gold mine, providing invaluable insights into the life of this fascinating creature. From these remains we gleaned information about their habitats, their behaviors, and their interactions with the world around them. These discoveries painted a vivid picture of the Velociraptor's life in Asia. They were not just beasts of the wild, they were a part of the complex ecosystem that thrived in prehistoric Asia. These discoveries shed light on the Velociraptor's life and habits, helping us understand them better. What made the Velociraptor stand out in the dinosaur kingdom? This small but fearsome creature known as the Velociraptor, was a standout member of the dinosaur kingdom, thanks to its distinct physical attributes. As a member of the dromaeosaurid family it was smaller than its relatives, but what it lacked in size, it more than made up for with its unique features. The Velociraptor boasted a body length of 1.5 to just over 2 meters and weighed between 14 and nearly 20 kilograms. But don't let its size fool you. This dinosaur was a swift thief, capable of reaching speeds of 40 kilometers per hour. It was a bipedal creature, meaning it moved about on two legs, with its agile body supported by powerful hind limbs equipped with sharp claws. The claws were not just for show, they were a crucial part of the Velociraptor's hunting arsenal. These curved, sickle-shaped claws, located on the second toe of each hind foot, were used to slash and grip onto prey. Combined with their speed, these claws made the Velociraptor a formidable hunter. But the attributes that truly set the Velociraptor apart were its skull and teeth. Its skull, which could grow up to 23 centimeters long, housed a set of teeth 
that were fairly uniform in size. These teeth were not designed for crushing or grinding. Instead, they were thin and sharp, perfect for ripping into the flesh of its prey. The Velociraptor's carnivorous nature was evident in its physical makeup. Everything from its teeth to its claws was designed for hunting and scavenging. It was a creature perfectly adapted to its environment and its lifestyle, embodying the phrase, survival of the fittest. These unique features made the Velociraptor a formidable predator of its time. Despite its small size, it was a force to be reckoned with, a testament to the diverse and fascinating world of dinosaurs. 75 million years later, the Velociraptor continues to fascinate us. Its legacy, though fossilized in time, permeates through our popular culture. The Swift Thief, as it's fondly called, has sprinted its way into our movie screens and literature, often depicted as a fearsome predator. This image, though partially true, is a testament to our collective fascination with these ancient creatures. The Velociraptor's small stature and feathered body have sparked discussions about the connection between dinosaurs and birds, ongoing researches further unearthing their behaviors, diets, and habitats, offering us a glimpse into the world they once roamed. Their sharp claws and teeth, their speed and their cunning. All these aspects continue to inspire awe and curiosity. As we dig deeper into the past, we hope to unravel more about these fascinating creatures. The story of the Velociraptor is far from over. As we continue to dig deeper, who knows what we'll discover next.